So this spire's been in the truck for the past two weeks. He either really likes this route or he's dead. Let's check him out. Oh! Yep. Just really likes the route. Good morning guys and welcome back to the FedEx Vlogs. So I'm starting today a little early. Got some breakfast. Duncan, the iced coffee. Iced coffee gang, where you at? We got the chocolate frosted donut with sprinkles. And my favorite sandwich, they brought it back. I think it's maple bacon brown sugar. So it's like brown sugar. There's bacon cheese. It's just all deliciousness. Today we're doing a completely different town from what I usually do. So the layout of this town is more smaller and the houses are way closer to each other. And someone also mentioned that I should talk about pickups, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. We're going to go a deep dive into how pickups work and how to do them efficiently. Because here at FedEx, we just don't deliver, we also pick up packages. So yeah, let's get right into it. Yeah guys, so I'm doing apartments right now. This route has a lot of apartments. Well, I guess you can say this town has a lot of apartments. Apartments can be sort of complicated. Look, it's like a maze. Like, which way do I go? But I've done this complex before so I already know Ooh, my hair messed up but yeah the apartment complex are kind of like a maze like I said and this is what it looks like Ooh. Uh, here's a pool they have a community pool check this out nice look at that it's locked can't use it three feet deep very nice right in the middle of the court. Um, I'm hoping that rains a little because it is very hot. It's like it's like 86 degrees and I'm wearing a vest. Don't be like me. Um, all my shirts, all my bag shirts were in the wash because I didn't feel like doing my laundry nor do I have my headband. The headband is an essential because I actually never seen the train come through here. But here we are. I'm waiting. The railroad crossing works. Oh my god, that guy's crazy right there. Crazy. That guy's crazy too. Hello. Oh. Maybe I should cross, guys. What do you think? Oh no, there it is. Oh. Some of you guys know this pain. <laughs> Apartments. So here's the street. And the, far the apartments are all the way over there. It's like 200, 300 feet. <laughs> it's like a like a five minute walk for one or two stops. All right, everyone, pretty much we're at the end of the day and we just got pickups left. I'm gonna do a little more explanation about pickups right now. So essentially, these are my pickups right here. Um, and this route, there's four of them. Um, only one of them looks familiar to me because it's been, like I said, it's been a while since I did this route. So there's a couple different pickups. Um, we have FDOs, which are like, like, don't know what it means, but pretty much it's like once in a while pickups. Say you got a package and you want to return it, but you don't feel like walking to the nearest FedEx office, you can have a FedEx driver come to your house and pick up that package. And that's like uh, FDOs, which are usually they're residential, but they can also be business as well. They're once in a while pickups, I guess you can say. The second one on the list is the scheduled pickups. Scheduled pickups are from Monday to Friday. Say you have a business and you make cookies. You need the cookies to be shipped out every day. Instead of going to a post office or a FedEx, UPS um, drop off, you can have us come to you every Monday through Friday. I think it's like a small fee and yeah, every day will come. Pickups also have a time limit. Uh, check out this. Here's the times for these. Um, usually the residential ones, the FDOs are pretty much all day. And the scheduled ones are usually later in the day, depending on how the company wants it. I know a lot of you guys don't have these kind of pickups because you live in a rural town and you just have residentials and maybe it's just home pickups. But the scheduled pickups can get really annoying because let's say you had 100 packages or 100 stops one day and you finish at 12 o'clock, but one of your pickups doesn't open till 4 p.m. So you literally have to wait until that window opens so you can pick up the packages and then go home. No matter what time I finish, I, you have to wait for pickups. I believe it's because I live in a metro area, 
Suburban that there's a lot of companies that need to get pickups. Every morning you should always take notes of what pickups you have because sometimes pickups start really early in the morning and close really in the morning so you have to be there. Luckily for me the pickups are all towards the end of the day as you can see there are numbers right here as you can see they're towards the end um, and they're not scattered around. So yeah we're gonna do the pickups I'll show you around uh, it's kind of new to me too so we'll, we're gonna find out together and we're gonna finish up some deliveries. Let's go. Someone here? Hello? Ooh. Hello? FedEx, I'm here for a pickup. I don't know if this is the place. FedEx pickup. Yeah, no speak English. Yeah, it's Russian. Oh. Oh, FedEx. Oh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just, I know it's somewhere, oh, yeah. somewhere here, but. Oh, you, um, is it? Ram and then. Uh, oh, you want me to drive around? Okay, show me first. Woo. Hello. Oh, it's, it's just one? I don't know. Okay, I guess I'll take it then. One second, okay? So, um, there was a little confusion where I was supposed to go. I knew I was in the general area, but yep, it was just one, so pretty good. Uh, this company does uh, meats. Uh, specialty meets, um, this is their second location or there might, or might be a third location but yeah, the, the first location that those boxes, there's like there's at least like 20 to 50 a day <laughs> but this location is a lot smaller, I guess it's more low key just this one let's close all these shelves we're gonna have a lot of pickups today guys What up? Uh, on, all right. How much we got? Woo. It's a lot. Yeah, something like that. All right, all right. Sounds good. Guys, I am sweating. If you can't tell, wish I had my head then. All right, so this is the pickup we just did. It's like 36 packages, and I left the space so I could get through to the truck. Um, probably not the best idea, but whatever. <laughs> uh, we got uh, two more that we have to do, and yeah, this is the life of a FedEx driver. It is hot in this truck. The heat is pounding. All right, next pickup. looks like now after that and we're doing this one now I don't know if you can see but there's a guy's leg in the back like right there Let's try and wake him up <laughs> what the uh, look I got myself it. another big can <laughs> Thursday. What are thirsty? Thursday. Thirsty Thursdays? Oh, never heard of that? No. Yo, bro. Well, <laughs> we could have pretty much start after Thursday. <laughs> Thursdays are Thirsty Thursday. Fridays is already tech considered a weekend. Alright guys, it's the end of the day and I actually do need some gas. So we are at the gas station. Oh, he's gonna talk to me. Hey boss. You have my account here, right? Yeah. Okay, I don't have a card. My boss never gave me a card, but I have like a, he has a deal with this gas station, so. Um, once we get to the station, I'll show you how much pickups I actually did. Yeah, there wasn't too many, but they're really fat and heavy. Keep in mind, this is a big truck. 
look at that. Oh, oh my God. All right, guys, that is the final total right there. $145.96 when the gas price is $3.15 slash 23 cents. Oh, it's going to 196. <laughs> mm, yeah. This is what the truck looks like. All right, not the most organized because um, if I do those in the back, it was more work for the pack chandlers. So might as well just keep them right here so pack chandlers can just stump them. Another day, another dollar. Um, today wasn't too stressful. It's been a while since I did that route. And yeah, it just, uh, I guess it rejogged my memory and I remember where everything else was. All right guys, back in my car and pretty much the end of the day. Um, yep, it's hot as break out and so Make sure you guys leave a like with my nerd driver. So you won't be in the video? <laughs> no, I'm good. Okay, okay. Uh, he asked me to drop off his house, so I'm gonna drop him off at his house. But that's pretty much it, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, yo. <laughs>